Hi, I'm Kylie Corrigan. I'm a technical support engineer at Kepware, and today I'll be sharing tips for troubleshooting a demo timer. A demo timer can be caused by adding a new license, upgrading, adding an unlicensed feature to your project, or making significant hardware changes. When encountering a demo timer, the first place to look is in the event log. Located in the bottom of the Kep Server EX configuration, the event log will post a message that begins with demo timer started and then provide the reason. Similarly, the product will enter demo mode if a license is removed for a feature that you have configured in your project. Check the license utility and verify that the license is present. To do so, right click on the Kep Server EX administration menu icon in the system tray, select license utility, view license details for this computer, and then click next. Now that you know where to locate the event log and licenses, let's troubleshoot the four most common reasons why the product would go into demo mode. The product may go into demo mode if you do not restart the runtime after activating a new license. The license is applied at startup, so restarting the runtime ensures that it is applied before your clients connect. To stop the runtime service, right click on the administration icon and then select stop runtime service. Then restart the runtime by right-clicking on the administration icon and then selecting Start Runtime Service. The product may go into demo mode if you've upgraded the application and have one or more components that are not eligible for this version. To rule this out, check the eligibility of your activation IDs against the version of Kep Server EX you have installed. To find the version of Kep Server EX that you have installed, right-click on the administration icon and select Support Information. To check the eligibility of an activation ID, log into mykepware.com. Adding an unlicensed feature, either a driver or an advanced plugin, to your project can also send the product into demo mode. Check the project for recently added unlicensed components and remove them from the project. Then stop and restart the runtime. A significant hardware change on the PC could also cause the product to go into demo mode. Kepware recommends transferring off the license before making a hardware change. This situation is indicated by a demo timer started error-157 message in the event log. If you cannot successfully reactivate on your own by restarting the machine, please call technical support to discuss options for recommissioning your license. Mm -hmm.